Kick says, I do remember a video uh, from CES that had flat RAM on the motherboards. Let's see if that's what he's talking about. AFC is saying CAM to RAM. So let's go ahead. Let me take a look at this. CAM to RAM. Um, I think Corsair has it here. So computer memory comes in a variety of speeds, latencies, and capabilities. So the dominance of, of DIMMs could be under threat with the introduction of CAM2. CAM2 stands for Compression Attached Memory Module Version 2. Hinting at the main difference between CAM2 and DIMM, the way the module physically connects to the motherboard. Essentially, CAM2's connectors are arranged in a grid, similar to what you'd find on a modern processor, rather than the line of connectors found on a DIMM. Technically, there are two lines of the connectors on a DIMM, but you get the idea. So I guess this is a, is this the picture of it? So these are the individual mo memory modules, similar to, you know, I guess, how they would be on a DIMM. Is it pressurized, I guess? Can we see the back of it? Pop, 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 pop. The design means CAM2 memory lies flat parallel to the motherboard instead of perpendicular to it. This has several implications, including more clearance around the CPU socket, much needed, by the way, especially with how much power these CPUs are taking and how hot they get now. You really need beefy coolers, and it's very annoying to get RAM sticks in the way. Um, so I agree there. We expect that motherboard manufacturers will likely include only a single CAM2 socket on their motherboards, making upgrading less straightforward. You'll have to swap out the entire module to upgrade. However, CAM2 does feature shorter traces between the CPU and memory chips, which should lead to better signal integrity and therefore should support faster frequencies and lower latencies. That would be good. So really fast systems would want to run this, right? It's kind of like, um, you know, currently you're, there's always like in a standard ATX form factor, you have four DIMM slots, right? But if you want to get the fastest memory in existence, you never want to run all four in, in quad channel. You want to run just two in dual channel, and then that allows you to obtain the faster speeds. I would assume that that's kind of similar here. You're probably going to run, you know, less capacity, but get really, really fast. And that would be really what you're looking at in this particular case. AFC says, should tank thermals too? I would assume we get hotter. Um, at least, so my problem here is this placement, right? So if this is going to be the proposed placement and you got your socket right here, that means your cooler is going to be going over it, which in theory me, and if it's running at higher speeds, higher frequencies and lower latencies, these modules are going to get really hot and they're going to be obstructed. So I, I think Yes. Okay, cool. So we have, you know, shorter traces to the CPU. Yes, but you are going to have, I, I think, hotter thermals. That's what I would presume, right? Assuming the memory modules are still the same that's on like your DRAM uh, as well. I was going to see if there's any pictures. Out. There's some pictures, but not really... Okay, so I wanted a picture of the back side of it. Is there a picture? Okay, so here is, okay, gr oh, great. So we're gonna have to worry about bending more pins. <laughs> All I think is, damn, that's a lot of pins to bend. <laughs> Dude. Like, uh, <laughs> there, since it's pressure based, you technically don't have to worry about bending them. But, well, yeah, I'm talking about like bending them back and forth or them breaking off. Um, yeah, no, I, I <laughs> that would be my initial worry. I assume the backside are just copper uh, of the actual modules themselves or just copper placement points. 
That is a good point. So John and Kick says maybe CPU and RAM can use single cooler. And I think that might be a, that will probably be a cooling product that is available, right? With how close they are together, at least in that original picture that we saw, uh, you could feasibly, you know, uh, extend that uh, heat sink over and adjust for the tolerances and mount to it. And it, you know, like it is here, um, you have, you know, you could feasibly just build one cooler that crosses over. So that's a good idea. Probably will happen. You're probably correct. I think, um, good for catching cat hair too. Yeah. Damn cat, dude. I got to clean out all the PCs at the house too, from my cat. It's getting, <sighs> I don't know why I ended up with a cat. Is what it is. You know what I mean? So AFC is saying that the cooler he saw with Corsair had a massive cooler over it. I was on the main Corsair page, but I didn't see one uh, from it in particular. Uh, exciting stuff, though. I mean, I think that design's, the design looks cool. Here's a whole picture of it, I guess. Oh, uh, so that, oh, uh, that, no, that's the socket. Okay. Yeah, so what's your capacity limit, right? You're going to have lower capacity, right? You have to. The board doesn't seem that big. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is that? 12 modules, two gigabytes each? What? How much does uh, DDR5 go up? Hold on. I think I have... Okay, so it's it's what four gigabytes per module. This is a sixteen gig stick. We have one, two. Wait, is that right? Or is this an eight gig? This is an eight gig stick, which would mean two. So two, four, six, eight. So that's not good. That'd be twenty four if. So DDR5, or is this DDR4? This is DDR5, right? Yeah, DDR5. So if they're the standard design, that would only be like a 24 gigabyte plate. That's not going to be enough. You need like four gigabyte modules. That would give it 48, uh, 48 gigs. That would be enough. Yeah, that would be enough. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. If you would like to see more from this particular episode, take a look up here. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support me directly, you can go to sonofatech.locals.com and become a member. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next Tuesday.